I think Paula Deen was used as sort of like a symbol, but I think lots of people use that word inappropriately mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it? Will you get her for a sit down? Will you talk to her? Get her uh, I don't know. I think, you know, if she's ready to, when she's ready to talk. But you know, I think you have to, you know, just like Lindsay was um, in a position where she wasn't ready to really make a decision about moving forward. I think you have to get, you have to let the dust settle and figure out where you are and all of that before you can actually have a real conversation. Have you ever been called the N-word at any um, point in your life? I would have to say that racism for me doesn't show itself that way. Nobody in their right mind, unless they're a Twitter thug, is gonna call me the N-word. You know, you, you, hear those, you see those fools on Twitter sometimes, they say some yeah. of these ridiculous yeah. things. But nobody in their right mind is gonna do that to my face or in a way that, because true racism is being able to have power over somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's, so that doesn't happen to me that way. It shows up for me this way. It shows up that sometimes I'm in a boardroom or I'm in situations where I'm the only woman, I'm the only uh, African-American person within, you know, a hundred mile radius. And I can see in the energy of the people there, they're, um, they, they don't sense that I should be holding one of those seats. I can, I can you? sense that. Yeah, of course I can sense it. But I can, I can never tell, is it racism, is it sexism? Because often it's both. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sexism thing is huge. The higher the ladder you climb, it gets huge, it mm -hmm. gets huge, because just men are used to running things, they are. So I don't have it in the same way other people have it, but I will tell you this. I was in um, Zurich the other day, mm -hmm. at a store, whose name I will not mention, and I was, uh, let's see, I, was, I, I didn't have my eyelashes on, but I was in full Oprah Winfrey gear. I had my little Donna Karen skirt and my little sandals and all that, huh? But obviously, the Oprah Winfrey show is not shown in, in Zurich. So this doesn't happen to me unless somebody obviously doesn't know that it's me. But I was in Zurich for Tina Turner's wedding. Hmm. And I decided I'm gonna leave the hotel. It's just me by myself. Stedman, uh, you know, wasn't there. And uh, Gail wasn't there, no friends. I'm out by myself. And I go into a store, which shall remain unnamed. And I say to the woman, uh, excuse me, may I, may I see that, that uh, bag right above your head? And she says to me, no, it's too expensive. And I said, no, 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 see, see the black one, the one that's folded over, da, da, da. And she said, no, 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 you don't want to see that one. You want to see this one because that one will cost too much. You will not be able to afford that. And I said, well, no, I really did want to see that one. And she, she, she refused to get it. She refused to get it. And she started to show me these other little bags. And um, I said, uh, one more time I tried, I said, but I really do just, just really want to see that one. And she said, oh, I don't, I don't want to, to hurt your feelings. And I said, okay, thank you so much. You're probably right, I can't afford it. And I walked out of the store. Now, why did she do that? Why did she do that? Now, Gail, when I told Gail the story, Gail said, I would have gone back in there and made a pretty woman moment and said, big mistake. But then I thought, no, she'd get the commission, so I won't do that. Yeah, I guess that's true, right? <laughs> well, the movie shows you there's two different ways to handle. Yeah, there's two different there's ways to handle uh -huh. it. I could have had the big blow up thing and thrown down the black card and all that stuff, but why do that? Yeah. But that clearly is, you know, that it still exists. It still, of course, it does. Were you ever called the N word? And you know, when you talk about that, no, no person who says the N word can be a friend of mine. You have said that in, in a quote. Saying, yeah, I mean, in my circle, and listen, Kuba and I just got, you know, I was just in a session with him. Ask him, he's going to say something completely different. Mm -hmm. But I do not run in a circle of people who use the word loosely or use the word because um, I, for me, it's out of respect to those people for whom that's the last word they heard while they were being hung. It's the last word they heard when they were being fired. It's the last word they heard when their house was being burned. It's the last word they, it's the word they heard every day walking down the street when they had to step off the sidewalk and let other people pass. I just, I, I, I have had a sense of not just being, living this life for myself, but having this life created by other people. Maya Angelou says it's, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000 mm -hmm. from that poem. And I've had that sense for as long as I, 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 I can remember. 
that, you know, the way that's been paved for me. I owe them something. I, I, I owe them the responsibility and the honor of not trying to denigrate them as they were by using that word. This movie to me allows me to look and applaud how far we've come because I look at, whoa. When I was excavating, uh, going in, trying to pull up the pieces of what would be this character Gloria's life, wow, Nance, I had so many aha moments, like, whoa, I was really born at the right time because mm -hmm. you nor I would be sitting where we're sitting you and your pretty blue. <laughs> and you and your pretty bad. Yeah, neither of us would be sitting where we're sitting had we been women of the 60s. It was, a, it was an act of love, I think, for everybody to be able to offer this story to, to, our, to our nation, to the country. And I think, uh, you know, you know I, I'm hoping that people will receive the, the offering as, as, as we wanted them to.